Welcome to Geograph. In this session, we are going to look at uh, earth movements. The first subtopic under earth movements is uh, folding and uh, folding. Uh, introduction What causes folding and folding? Forces leading to folding and folding. Earth movements are movements caused by internal and external forces. These movements can be lateral or vertical in nature. What are internal forces and external forces? Internal forces are forces that operate within the Earth's surface leading to earthquakes, volcanicity, folding and the faulting. These are forces that operate within the earth surface leading to earthquakes, volcanicity, volcano activities, folding and uh, faulting. So these forces since they are called internal they are referred to as the endogenic forces indo the word indo means inside so endogenic forces is the same as internal forces external forces on the other hand are forces that operate on the earth's surface leading to denudation denudation glaciation, river action, and wave action. So external forces are forces that operate on the Earth's surface, while internal forces operate within the earth, Earth's surface. So what is caused under internal forces are earthquakes, volcanicity, folding, and faulting. But for external forces, that are exogenic forces. The features that are formed is the, uh, there is a process, denudation, glaciation, river action, and the wave uh, motion. The earth movements are also called the tectonic movements as they help in building the relief feature on the earth's surface. So classifications of uh, Earth movements. What are classes? Earth movements are classified on various bases. On the basis of time taken by such movement, there is slow movement and sudden movement. Earth movement. Slow earth movement or slow movements. These are movements which bring about changes in the earth's surface gradually, slowly. Slow movements may take hundreds or thousands years. So the act on the earth is crushed either vertically or horizontally. So slow movements can result in any of the following. Uh, uplift, meaning the land is uplifted, shifted, sub submergence, then sub subsidence, to subside is to like reduce. Okay, submergence meaning to merge, to meet, to combine. So, uh, sudden movements, unlike uh, slow movements, sudden movements bring about uh, abrupt changes in the crust. Uh, examples of uh, sudden movements are volcanic eruption, landslide, where a piece of uh, land now collapses on something landslide and the earthquakes so we have uh, vertical and horizontal movement we have also vertical and horizontal movement so slow slow movements can further be divided into vertical and lateral movement depending on whether the earth's surface has gone up on one side or another so vertical movements these are upward and downward 
movements or up and down movements which cause the crust rocks to 40. So the origin from the center of the earth and affects the surface. So vertical movements are also called epilogenic movements. So take note of these terms. Epilogenic movement. Vertical movements are slow and widespread. Do not bring changes in the horizontal rock strata, meaning rock layers, create continents. So the vertical movements create continents, plateaus, oceans, if large scale uplift or sub subsidence occurs. Other features produced include, include block mountains, basins, and the type of escarpments. Then we have uh, horizontal movements. Horizontal movements are geog geographically called orogenesis. So there are forces which act on the earth's crust from side to side horizontally, causing the crust to rocks to fold. So we we'll see the diagrams of what I'm talking about. So horizontal movement produce landforms such as Ford Mountains, Lift Valleys and the Brock Mountains. So we should be able to know Lift Valleys, Ford Mountains and Brock Mountains in terms of structure you identify them and also their definition. Thank you for your attention. In the next lesson we'll be talking about forces of tension and the compression.